Hi everyone, welcome back to S2CS. As you can see, I am going to discuss today on the topic data communication components. So if you are a new viewer to the channel, after watching the full video, if you feel it useful for your learning, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. So let's start. Before understanding what data communication is about, you must understand these two terms. First is the data. So data can be any text, audio, video or any multimedia files. Communication. Communication is the process of sending or receiving messages. So what is data communication? The process of transfer of data between the sender and receiver in a computer network via transmission medium is termed as data communication. So you can see in the diagram itself how the data is being transmitted between sender and receiver. Okay. And they also have to agree to set of rules known as protocol. Now that we will see further. Which are the five components of data communication? First is the message, second is the sender, third is the receiver, fourth is the transmission medium and fifth is the protocol. Now we will see these components one by one. The first is message. It simply refers to the data to be transmitted. Now it can be any text, audio, video. Okay. Similarly, sender. What sender do? It plays the role of source in computer network. So it is the device that transmits or sends the message. Now it can be any of the device like computer, mobile, laptop. Okay. Third is receiver. Receiver plays role of destination in computer network. It is a device that receives the message. It will the examples will be the same computer, mobile, etc. Fourth is transmission medium. It is the physical path through which the data is sent between sender and receiver. So the examples include twisted pair cable, microwave, radio waves. And the last one is protocol. It is a kind of agreement that both communicating parties must agree. A communicating parties means the message is being sent between sender and receiver. So they are the communicating parties and they have to agree to certain set of rules. So without protocol, no communication will take place between the two devices. So I have taken the examples as SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol, HTTP, hypertext transfer protocol and FTP file transfer protocol. I hope you are clear about the data communication with this small video. Another channel named S2 Learn where I discuss English grammar related videos. So if you are interested, you can visit that channel and like the videos. And please don't forget to subscribe that channel too. So thank you for watching. I will meet you in my next video. Till then, bye.